Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss NEET PG 2020 questions from the subject SMT. So uh, our first question is: In an exhumated body, which of the following poisons can be detected in bones? Your options: lead, arsenic, mercury, cadmium. So the answer for this question is arsenic. So arsenic. retard putrefaction and can be found in bones hair and nails for several years and it also and it also delays rigor mortis so for this question your answer is arsenic then next question a witness comes to court for evidence recording witness is giving false evidence in court of law this offense is punishable under which ipc so your option is 191 192 193 and 197 so ipc section 191 and 192 deals with perjury it means fabricating false evidence and the punishment for the same offense comes under section ipc 193 uh, which uh, which can be extended up to 7 year imprisonment So, answer for this question is option C, that is one ninety three. Then, next question: In a patient, tongue swelling, blotted face was noted along with finding as shown in the image. What is the probable cause? Your options: electric burn, crocodile burn, scald, putrefaction. So, answer for this question is putrefaction. and it is certain sign of death mainly due to autolysis by mainly due to autolysis and next by bacterial enzymes especially due to action of lipase and lecithinase so answer for this question is putrefaction now our next question is onus of proof in civil negligence case lies on options doctor magistrate police and patients so for this question you have to understand what onus of proof means it means that responsibility of proving that something is true in a court of law so responsibility of proving that something is true in a court of law answer for this question is patient then the next question magnan symptoms are associated with which poisoning so your option is cannabis cocaine opium and alcohol so the correct answer is cocaine cocaine causes tactile hallucinations feeling of bugs crawling under the skin also known as formication so magnan symptoms are associated with cocaine poisoning then most commonly used drug which leads to drug dependence so answer uh, so options are cannabis cocaine opium and amphetamines so right answer for this question is cannabis not amphetamines then next question identify the finding shown in the image options are abrasion battle sign laceration none of the above so here the image is of battle sign it is due to fracture of base of skull or basilar fracture of skull okay you can see this redness over the mastoid it is battle sign behind the ear this redness denotes battle sign in case of basilar fracture of skull then next question in a rape incident on a small child the hymen your options are rupture because it is thin next rupture because it is situated superficial do not rupture because it is thick do not rupture because because it is situated deeply so in a small child the hymen do not rupture because it is situated deep and high up so answer for this question is option d then the next question according to factory act 1948 every adult worker can work for how long per week including extra time work so answer for this question is 60 hr maximum 60 hrs a person can work 
and regular hours are 48 hours then next question according to POSCO act age of a child as per the risk tax free is so answer for this question is seven years uh, act free image is not available here but uh, uh, for this question the answer is seven years then next question yellow color needle shaped crystals are seen in microscopy in which test your options Dickmans, Barberios, Takayama and Florence so the answer is Barberios test it is test to detect the seminal stains test for detecting seminal stains is Barberios test and best test to detect seminal stains is P30 P30 test then next tattoo marks are not visible during autopsy as confirmed by relative where tattooing can be checked next during autopsy so your options is skin blood vessels liver and lymph node so the correct answer for this question is lymph node so pigment dye, pigmented dye so lymph nodes can be seen pigmented with dye if you can't if you tattoo mark are not visible during autopsy if you can't find visible tattoo mark during autopsy the probable uh, pigment from the tattooing site are moved to lymph node nearby lymph node so option for this question is option D then next come the question number 13 on voluntary admission maximum number of days for which a patient can be admitted in a mental hospital as per mental health act 2017 so correct answer for this question is 30 days up to 30 days a person can be admitted voluntarily in a mental hospital so these are your fmt questions Okay guys, thank you.